All right, now we're doing 8Q Draw Stairs. This is by The Force, and 89% of the people like it. Give it a number in, draw stairs using the letter I. In tall and in wide, with the tallest in the top left. For example, in equals 3 results result in this. And then when it prints out, it's this. All right? So, let's set up over here. All right. In this one, we're going to have to use the array constructor. And uh, also, we're going to have to map to fill it. And then we're going to have to use repeat and also join. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So, first things first, let's make a new array. All right? So, with this array constructor, let me show you. Uh, the array constructor is used to create array objects, all right? And so you just put array, capital A for array, and then some parentheses, and then inside the parentheses, we're going to put in. Uh, I don't see any syntax, but that's what we're going to do. Hmm, ah, just like this, right? All right, cool. So for that, we're going to put inside of here, we're going to use the spread syntax. And then array in okay now we've got to fill it up so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the map which the map creates a new array populated with the results of calling a provided function on every element in the calling array right so for that we're gonna say dot map and we're gonna use this syntax here the element in the index syntax and uh, yeah that's pretty good right there so we're gonna say the element we don't need to bother with the element because we're just gonna fill it with uh, whatever so there's that and then we also need the index index and with this we're going to say uh, since as you can see here here's like I and then space I space I space space I so we're going to say space right there dot repeat because we're going to repeat it over and over and over again per line. And uh, here's the repeat thing right here. Repeat method constructs a new, pardon me, repeat method constructs and returns a new string which contains a specified number of copies of the string on which it was called concatenating together. Okay. So we're going to say repeat. And we're going to do that index amount of times, right? So here's index zero, so it's going to repeat net zero times. Index one, repeat one time. Index two, repeat two times. And then we're going to also add an I, a capital I to it. So plus capital I, all right? That's not plus. Plus capital I, all right? So we got that, all right. There's the map. Now what we got to do is... Uh, join them together with that slash in okay the thing that like does a page break that we learned in like html however long ago so we're going to join it together using this uh array.prototype.join because right now it's an array so the join method creates and returns a new string by concatenating all of the elements in an array or array like objects separated by commas or a specified separator string okay and our specified separator string is going to be the slash in, backslash in, I should say, dot join backslash in, okay? So now it's going to look like, uh, it's going to be like space, space, it's going to be I, then space, it's going to be I, backslash in, space, I, backslash in, blah, 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 okay? Now let's see if this works. Okay, cool. So every time it does the backslash in, it's just going to do a page break or whatever it's called and just uh, make the stairs thusly, right? Hopefully this makes sense to you. If not, just uh, tell me in the comments and um, I'll just redo the video. No big deal. All right, submit it. Let's check my solutions. Just me. All right, and I very like it. And we'll see you next time.